Welcome on into today's video. We've got a great paper trading tutorial video here for you on TradingView, a completely up to date, latest version, if you will, paper trading update, plus a second feature to paper trading that I do want to talk about. Stick to the end. We'll dive into that one. That feature, I really think, is what a lot of us could use to get the extra reps, extra practice trading pretty much anything we want, literally whenever we want. We don't have to wait for market hours. If we work during the days, if we're at school, we can take the weekend, set aside a couple hours and trade all of the days of the past week that we missed just maybe a little bit faster. Now, first things first, TradingView paper trading is a trading simulator. This is not actually trading live money. And anything that we do in this video is an example only, the products that we trade, the thoughts that we may have. These are examples and are not to be taken literally or as specific financial advice. All right, so let's try this out. We are now looking at SPY, the S&P 500 ETF. If we want to get to the paper trading feature here on TradingView, we will go down to where we have the trading panel at the bottom of our screen. I know it's small. It's all the way down there. Hover over. It says open trading panel. Click on that. Then I'm going to hit the expand button right here. And now all these brokers pop up. We don't need to care about these. What we got to care about is this top left option. That is paper trading. If you guys want to see some videos on how to connect other brokers, we've got other videos here on the channel. But go to where it says paper trading. Select that. We're going to connect. Once I've connected, I've created my accounts, I'm all good to go. You can see that I've got an active paper trading account right here, and we've got a balance of $1,089.71. Let's say that I want to change that. I don't know what it starts out as when you were originally opening an account. It's been a while for me, but I'm gonna go to the gear icon next to paper trading account gear. I have had the option now to include a commission. I just put a dollar just as an example, but you can have a fixed commission. You can have a percentage commission. So you can really simulate uh, what real trading would be like for you, depending upon the brokerage platform that you're gonna use later on. Or I go to reset account, or end I should say, and I can reset my balance. Say I wanna set my balance to $50,000. I can set that and reset it. Now my account balance is set to $50,000 and we're good to go. Inside of here, while we're at it, we'll have the option to look at our past orders, our history, filled, canceled, rejected orders, we can go to our account history and even a trading journal that will have options to here as well. This is something that I think is underutilized, but it's also a feature you have access to inside of paper trading here on TradingView. So I'm gonna minimize this. If I wanted to pop it up, I can ha hit the buttons down here, this little, this little arrow at, uh, at the bottom. And now I'll have the ability to see my positions and see a little bit more information, my balance, P&L, all that stuff. Um, this top right corner of the bottom widget pops it up to full exposure, I guess, of the screen. Uh, but this, this, this again would minimize it back down. And then this minimize piece right here gets rid of it completely. And all we have is chart and then paper trading with the green little icon means that we're good to go. We can trade, no worries. So let's pull up a five minute chart here of the S&P 500, my friends. And if we wanted to get in on the S&P 500 right now, let's go ahead and do so. So if I go down to paper trading next to that, there's an option to trade. This has been a recent, fairly recent uh, option to change or change, I guess. It used to be on the right hand side, you would have the option for, I believe we're not cut off, right? You would have the option on the right hand side, for the trading panel, there will be two options, the order panel and the DOM, the depth of market, but now they've moved it. So I got to hit the trade button down here and then it will pop open this right here. And you can go back and forth between the order panel or the DOM, the depth of market. There's also, if I hover over this, see how it has this up arrow plus D, that means shift plus D. If I hit shift and then D, boom, we go over to depth of market and that's essentially the price ladder that we see right here. So a couple ways to enter orders. Uh, I will go over that really quick because it is also part of this whole platform. But first, I do want to thank the sponsor of today's video, Iron Beam. Introducing Iron Beam, a bright choice for futures trading. Iron Beam is an industry-leading broker catering to traders worldwide. With 24-hour live support and the free Iron Beam platform, you can trade the most popular and liquid future contracts anywhere and from any device. 
With day trade margins as low as $50 and no account minimums, futures trading is more accessible than ever. Register now and let us help you shine a light on futures trading. Iron Beam. Now, Iron Beam is also an official broker partner of TradingView and a preferred platform. We can see it right here on the broker list as well as other ones, but we can click on Iron Beam. I have it start because I have an account there as well. And I can log into my Iron Beam account and trade on TradingView through my Iron Beam account. But now back to paper trading. So if I was to go back to the trading panel here, all this stuff, I want to go and buy. If I want to buy in right now, I'll have a couple options. I can go with a limit order, a stop order, or a market order. All of them are going to have different, I guess, uh, things you're going to have to type in on the order entry form right here to get in. The simpler way is the depth of market. If I want to get in the depth of market, I can go down here, go where it says units and specify. Let's say I want to buy 100 shares of SPY. Uh, that would be, the in this case, the units is a share. One unit is one share. And I want to buy it. Let's say I want to buy it somewhere down here. Let's say 434. I'll go down to where it says 434 on the left-hand side. Put in a limit order at that price. Boom, boom, boom. There she is. And now we have an order that sits at 434. If SPY gets down there, we'll be getting in. We also have the ability to drag this once we have it there. We drag this down and it will automatically adjust the order. I can drag it up closer to get filled as well. Now let's say that before I get filled, I want to put in a take profit and stop loss. I want to set my orders and then walk away. If you see hovering out from the left-hand side of my buy limit here on SPY, there's a TP, take profit, and a stop loss. If I were to hover over, you may not see it right away. You may need to hover over this. If I hover over, it should pop up. Take profit, I can adjust that. Say I want my take profit up here. And then stop loss, I can adjust that down here. And so before I even get in the trade, I could simply look at this and say, okay, I'm going to risk $69 to make $170 if SPY comes to my level and bounces back up. So an easy way to simply look at risk reward with before you get into trades, I tend to do stuff like this uh, many times just so that I can have a feel for what I'm looking at risk-wise before I enter a trade. Uh, you can also use some of their tools, which I have uh, up at the top right here. You'll go to the left-hand side. And if I were to go down to inside of here, let's go find it now. Uh, here it is. Inside of these tools, there's the long and short position under the projection section that I have, which is like the one, two, three, four, fifth drop down there. It might be different for you. I'm not sure, but I can go in and I can have a long position and I can kind of customize this and essentially adjust it as I see fit. But sometimes I'll just use this to make it easier. And then I'll execute my order on my bro my phone, depends upon the platform, or I'll execute it here on TradingView if I'm connected and whatnot. I can adjust these as I want, but I can also X out of these one by one. And then I can also clear my current order as well by hitting the X. Now, there's buttons in here to flatten, clear all, reverse. If I go back in here, you have a clear all button. The flatten button would just mean if you were long 100 shares, it would sell 100 shares immediately and you'd close the position. And then the reverse would be if I'm long 100, it would go short 100. That could be actually a pretty cool um, button to use if, for example, you play, I don't know, breakouts or something like that. And you, maybe you have, for I think Meta is a good example actually from today. So I'll show you Meta today and I can even show you how to trade this uh, elsewhere as well here in a second. But let's say I was looking at Meta and I had this little area as my breakout zone. And Meta, I want to go long on the break. So I get in long Meta here. And then it has this big upper wick and it, it breaks back down. I could go in and I can go reverse, reverse my position here to now I want to be short because we're false break. It's a false breakout. And then I could have made some good money on the backside. That's actually a pretty cool uh, button that uh, I definitely have not utilized um, to the full capabilities that I'd like to, but it's an option for you there. Going back up to the order option here, we have the buy sell market is a pretty straightforward order market would just get you in right now uh, and maybe not the best price, but it's going to get you in. Uh, I like to use limit orders. Uh, if you are looking at a bigger picture swing trade, it doesn't matter. A market order is probably fine because you're looking at a bigger time frame anyway. It just depends on the time frame. So you'll have the option to go in here, limit orders. I can have it set to ticks. I can have it set to, let's say, the ask minus 30 or 27 in this case. 
uh, means that I'll get filled about 27 cents under where we currently are sitting on the ask. And I can adjust the units. I can also enter a take profit and stop loss here. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go for 100 shares of Meta as a potential trade. And I want to buy, let's go to the daily chart, look at like a swing trade idea. I want to buy Meta right now, um, clear all these lines. That was for me today. Um, and I want to buy Meta right now. And I think Meta is going to go to a new all-time high or a new high of the year, I should say. I don't know if it's all-time high, new high of the year. And I'm going to buy 100 units at just under where we currently are trading. And my take profit, I can set by ticks, price, dollar amount, or percentage. Let's say I want to go percentage because I'm looking bigger picture and I want a 5% move up for a swing trade. And I don't want to lose more than 3%. You can simply go ahead with this approach. And now it'll go in and it will essentially tell you exactly how much. Once you adjust one of these boxes, uh, it'll adjust all of them to fit that same criteria. So it will make a 5% move is approximately 2,500 ticks. It's approximately this price. And you'll make this much money, $2,500 on that move. Uh, and then I can adjust accordingly from there. Time and force week means that it will get filled this week or by the end of the week, it'll cancel it. Month, this month, or it'll cancel. Day means today, or it'll cancel. GTD allows you to select a date and a time by when this order can get canceled, which is actually pretty cool because maybe there's an earnings coming up or there's this coming up and you want to make sure you, you know, you set your orders and you forget about them, but then you want to make sure that they clear by, by a certain date or time. Boom, you can go ahead and have that set in right there. So it's pretty cool. If I go ahead and buy it, you'll see that stop loss gets placed. If I adjust this, yep, you'll see the take profit up here and it tells you how much money that I would lose or make on that trade. So kind of cool. Uh, a lot of features in here that I think a lot of us uh, maybe overlook at times, but definitely something to be, you know, taking more seriously. Now for what I think is the most interesting piece to paper trading, or I guess a new spin on paper trading. If I get out of this, uh, it's going to be up here in the replay feature. So I'm going to click on bar replay, the top of our screen. It's kind of uh, not the same, but it is the same, if you will. Go to replay. Now at the bottom, we have this. So we have a jump to option. Um, as of right now, there's been some questions about jumping to a specific date, looking back. Uh, you have to select that Unfortunately, I know some people have said, you know, I would just like to put in a random date, not even be able to see the chart at all, close my eyes and pick a date. Um, as of now, you can't do that. So you'll have to pick, you have to go back in time. Um, maybe you want to close your eyes yourself and go back in time and just see where meta ends up being. Um, but what you can also do is let's say you are a day trader, you know, you can bring this in, narrow this in to, let's say a 30 minute chart or a five minute chart and say, Hey, I want to go back a couple days. I, or I, I didn't, check the market this week. I want to trade meta like, you know, this week and go back in and for example, trade this day right here. Uh, and I can set it to start right there. Now, what I now have is meta on my screen. And this goes for anything. This doesn't have to be stocks. It could be futures. It could be oil. It could be whatever you want. Uh, and now I have meta on my screen and I have the options to essentially trade this at a quicker speed. So it'll still utilize a five minute chart, whatever time frame I have set which in this case is a five minute chart, um, but it will be much faster. So for, for example, you have a three X down here. That's a three X replay speed. I might want to go to a 10 X, you know? Um, and so this could be useful. So let's say I want to go, let's go to three X to show you guys how this works. And I'll click on the play button. So now it's going to play out meta on this given day at a three X speed. If I pause it, maybe that's too fast. I'm going to go back down here and go to one X speed. I'm actually going to go back, grab this guy, go back to the open. Click on play, and now we can play it out at a 1x speed. And this way I can come in and I can potentially trade off of this. For example, pause. Say, I'm okay. Okay. I'm noticing, okay, Meta's got some lows right here. I'm going to draw some lines in. Got some lows right here. That seems like a key level it's holding. Highs right here, up here, seems like a key level it was holding in, you know, pre market before the big drop. If it gets above that level, you know, maybe I want to go long for a breakout buy. And below here, I want to go short for a breakdown short. Okay. And so what I could do is this will take us to the end of time. I'm going to go one frame at a time. Boom, boom. Oh, it, it holds, it holds, it holds. So I'm staying in, I'm staying in. Maybe I want to buy the dip there too. Staying in, staying in. Oh, candle gets rejected right there. One more, it breaks. So technically it had broken. Now I want to buy. So I'm going to go in here and adjust my con or my share size to a hundred shares, my quantity to a hundred shares. Boom, in there, the bottom between sell and buy. 
you have the option to sell, buy, or flatten down here. If I click on buy, now I'm in, and it will track my P&L. It tells me when I bought, the price, all that stuff right here. Those are actually things you can customize inside of the chart settings if you wanted to. If I want to go up in here, go to where it says trading, there's options to get rid of position, profit and loss, orders, get rid of that if I wanted to, just so I don't have to see some of these things on my screens. Executions, get rid of those, uh, so I don't have to see those things on my screen. But I'm going to leave it as is for now, just so we can see this. Now I'm going to play this out, and it will track my P&L live as we are now inside of this meta position and trading. And now, of course, I know that meta, I do know that meta went up. So I'm doing this for the sake of, you know, this example. So I see that meta has gone up. Cool. Meta's trending up. We're now up 280 bucks. And so you can at least kind of play this out in your head and potentially I want to sell. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to flatten right now. I'm going to go flat. Boom. Sell right there. And then if I click on this button right here, it'll take us to the end, jump to real time. And boom, they're going to tell me, congrats, trader. Your hard work shows on Meta Platforms, Inc. in bar replay. Profit and cash, success rate, and a most profitable trade. So if I want to come in here and scalp all day on SPY, on Tesla, on futures, whatever I want to do, NASDAQ futures, I can go ahead and do that. And then I can have, essentially, TradingView tell me how I did at the end of the day and uh, be able to kind of come back in and just test and practice and test and practice all day, all weekend if I wanted to on whatever stocks I, or whatever charts, whatever things, I guess you can say, that you wanna trade. Let's go to futures really quick. Let's jump down to futures, go to bar replay here on futures. Let's play this thing out. And let's say that, let's, let's kind of go live as it's, as it's trading out here. All right, it's pushing up. I want to get in on the breakout to the upside. I can go in and get, you know, five contracts of micro e-mini futures or six contracts in this case of micro e-mini micro e-mini futures. We're pushing up, we're pulling back, pushing up, pulling back, doing its thing. Let's see if it can break the upside. It is. I'm going to go ahead and sell my six. We're out. I'm going to move and fast forward this at the end of the day because I'm done trading. Boom, congrats. We just made another 480 bucks on the micro e-mini S&P futures. So there you guys have it. I mean, that is, in a nutshell, paper trading on TradingView. There's a couple other little things, I guess, that, that maybe you have questions on. If you do, leave them in the comments down below. But that right there covers the basics. Uh, and from here, you've got a pretty good base to practice, test, do whatever you need to do on TradingView to hone your craft, hone in your skills. So when it comes to the real world, real money, you've at least got the, got the reps, got the experience to do this. Links, resources down below this video. Anything that we do use or think is helpful to you, if you don't have a TradingView account, that'll be pretty important. There'll be a link to that under this video as well. To sign up, I believe you get a discount with that link. There's a discount if you use or if you were to sign up to any of the paid platforms, but they do have a free version as well. Thanks so much, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Thumbs up and consider subscribing. Peace.